This is Jimi Hendrix, and this is episode 40, Hunger and Thirst for Holiness, on LDS Hazen. Okay, now you're probably wondering why Jimmy hunger and thirst for holiness. I know that that sounds, you're supposed to hunger and thirst for righteousness, yes. But righteousness, holiness is a standard beyond righteousness, okay? Now, we're going to look. Hunger and thirst for holiness. Is it possible to find that? Well, it does say in 3rd Nephi chapter 12, one of the verses it says, Blessed are all those they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. Okay. And what does that mean? What does that mean? Hunger and thirst for holiness. What is it? What's it supposed to mean? We know what Jesus said in in this. I I would like to say believe that righteousness and holiness are the same thing, but they're not. The hungry and thirsting for righteousness. This is just my view as a convert. Okay, so please do listen carefully. Hungering and thirsting for holiness. You know what that translates toward more towards? Well, I'm glad you're listening. Hungry and thirsting for holiness means we press forward and keep keeping the commandments. Are we willing to say yes and agree to what the Lord has called us to be, do, and have? And I'm not just talking about the secular viewpoint, okay? I'll be honest with you. Our culture has become so secularized that we have lost that hunger and that thirst for holiness. So maybe say, well, Jimmy, Jimmy, you're harsh. No, I'm not harsh. The hymn itself is just more holiness give me. Okay? More holiness give me. That's supposed to mean something means that we are to live in perfect holiness before the Lord. What does the hungering thirsting mean? Spiritual labor. Pressing forward. Obeying Christ. You know? And, and some of you are like, well, Jimmy, that sounds hard, you know? I have wife, I have, I have four kids, and I got this. I got this job I work for. You know, about sixteen hours a day. How am I supposed to hunger and thirst for for, uh, for holiness? Tell me something. Are you are you honoring the Sabbath? To keep it holy. Are you? Now, granted, none of us are perfect, but you know, God. God calls us, our Heavenly Father. Jesus Christ, they call us 
to strive for perfection, for sanctification, okay? Justification means, you know, through Christ, we, we can have some righteousness. But, but listen to me, listen to me. Okay? Thirsting and hungering for holiness means a lot. Okay? A lot. You can't just... And, and I realize, okay, you're kind of like... Well, well, Jimmy, that's awfully harsh. But we should all be hungry and thirsting for holiness. Okay? We shall long for a special touch of the Holy Ghost to, to receive revelation of the Lord. And we can't... We can't retain revelation from the Lord so long as we are um, are not living as we should be before Him. You might say, but, but Jimmy, are we saved by grace? Yes, we are. But someone that wants to be exalted, you know what I'm saying to that? Listen to me. The answer is you need to seek you need to seek exaltation which is the fullness of eternal life the chance to be up in the celestial kingdom with God forever and ever and doesn't that sound good to you? I hope so I, I really do hope so from the bottom of my heart. We all need a special touch from the Lord to, to be able to know that when the time comes, He says, He says this, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Well done. Wouldn't you like to hear that? Wouldn't you like to know that the Lord is calling you to holiness? To know that when you fall, there's a chance to get back up and live a righteous life and to seek God daily, seek Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ daily. Wouldn't you like to hear, well done, thou good and grateful servant? Now, I hope you've enjoyed listening to Elias Hasten. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the uh, LDS Hasten community. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time. Remember who you are. Read your scriptures. And preach the gospel. God bless you. God bless you.